Okay, Gemini, let's see what's going on for you. This is your reading for September 2023. These are general readings. I'll take a look at what's going on for you. In the extended, I'll pull some cards around timing. Uh, I'll also go deeper into what you may not see coming, okay? So let's see what's happening right now. The energies for Gemini. Thank you very much for being here. If you're brand new, don't be shy. Hit that subscribe button and smash the like button if you want to get some more info or you want to get some more um, videos from me when I post them, you'll get notified. All right. So thank you very much for being here. And uh, let's see where we go. All these readings are sun, moon, rising and Venus. So if this isn't resonating for you, Gemini, check out your moon rising or Venus sign. I'll finish up posting the September readings this week. We do have a big week energetically. We have a full moon in Pisces. As I'm doing this reading, Uranus is going retrograde. And next week we have Venus going direct, but then the next day Jupiter goes retrograde. So as we move into September, there's a lot happening. And Jupiter is the, the um, ruler of your opposing planet, of your opposing sign, Sagittarius. So take a look at your own um, rising sign. I feel like I wanna say to you, Gemini, if you are a Libra or a Taurus rising, then that Venus energy was super loud for you. If you're an Aquarius rising, that this Uranian energy going retrograde is super loud because the rising sign and the ruling planet thereof rule your whole chart. Yup. Yeah. So if you want to talk more about astrology, I do have a group, the birth chart mastery group, and I think we're turning it into another name, the astrology group or something like that. But if you want to talk about your chart, I'm there for it. All that glitters, not for you. Hmm. Uh-huh. Breathe. Okay. Some of you have recognized that some kind of business partnership or some kind of idea isn't really what you want. Okay. Um, some of you are kind of sparkly about the possibilities I feel like there's a person who maybe kind of oversold it to you a little bit uh, and it really isn't for you. So your job is just to chill, okay? You're just chilling out and looking at what you really want to create. What is it that you are bringing into being in this lifetime, Gemini? I feel like something, uh, something that you did think was a good thing is turning out to not be such a good thing. And I don't think you've gone too far down the road, but I think you'd be like, oh, wow, I dodged a bullet there. I didn't go down that road. Yay. Good for me. Okay. So Gemini, what else is going on here? The cards underneath are what you don't see coming. Like I said, we'll go deeper into this in the extended five of cups, six of pentacles, Three of Pentacles. Yeah, moving on from that. Six of Swords, blocking, definitely blocking. And the Queen of Cups, look at this. And it just gets more and more intense. The Devil Energy, the Tower, and the King of Cups. Wow, okay. Going in a good direction. There is something that makes me feel like you had, um, you got some help from somebody and so they decided to ask you for more. Right, like maybe you, you were feeling low and you went to some a healer or a person to help you get out of that. <clears throat> and they kind of overstepped their boundaries or they asked for more than what they should have asked for. All of a sudden you're like, uh, I'm gonna block this person or I'm not gonna let this person take advantage of me. Okay, and they get very upset about this. That's upset, okay? So it's like she turns her back could be a water sign or a Capricorn. Um, but the fact is like you're blowing, this person is <laughs> magical. This person is standing in the way, sorry about that, uh, standing in the way of a life partner, Gemini. And I don't even know that you knew it because this person's water sign or Capricorn, the Capricorn is the loud, louder, no offense to Capricorns, but like, that's the louder thing. And meaning like they kind of tried to like, hold on to you. I feel like you are, that's getting blown up, but there's a person whose energy needs to, will step into that gap. 
Okay. So, yeah, Eight of Cups, Queen of Swords. There you are. Queen of Swords, Six of Cups, Person from the Past or Past Life. Wow. Romance, Knight of Cups, Ten of Swords, Two of Swords, Wheel of Fortune, Nine of Swords, and the Temperance card. Wow. Some of you have a love partner coming back from the past. I don't feel like you're walking away from two people and another person's coming in. I feel like this, this is essentially this story. Like you've kind of underneath, you've kind of figured it out or something like that. And you don't see the tower coming. I don't think you see the tower coming where that person gets blown out of your life and the new person comes in. I think you walk away. Not, not. <clears throat> not expecting a tower, but there it is. So uh, I feel like you're looking to a new person. Now, some of you, this could be a romantic partner that they kind of were, you know, just lightly dancing around um, work or something like that. Like you came to them for help and they're, you know, you, you thought it was a work related relationship. I feel like they had feelings for you. And I feel like when you're like, yeah, no more, no thanks. Then they go, then it's like, woo, they really blow their stack because I don't think they communicated to you that they had feelings for you at all. Okay. So I feel like you moving forward, this person was making, was wanting to make an offer, but you're now looking to another person. And there's this Ten of Swords, Two of Swords. Like, okay, I feel like they're going to block you. And I feel like um, you might feel badly about this, but you're really going in a different direction. So how do, what would this look like in your life um, besides the romantic opportunity here? There's something on your path that you thought was a good option, but you've decided against it. And you walk away from it. And it blows up behind you. You know, like in those movies when like the guy walks away and boom, everything goes crazy in the background. I feel like that's what's happening. And like, you didn't even know that you were walking away from something that was going to go boom. Yeah. I think this person or this situation, so this could be, this could be what you're doing with your business or what you're doing with your life. And you've just were like, yeah, no big deal. I'm not going to do it. And this other person was really counting on this or this, uh, this person, uh, this situation, they were thinking it was a done deal. And you're like, yeah, no. Okay. So boom, big, big time, um, craziness happening here. The 10 of swords, please. Three of wands, nine of cups, justice, and the knight of pentacles. This is about asking you to be more precise in what you're saying yes to. <clears throat> uh, but in your defense, I feel like this person did not communicate very well. Okay. I feel like this person like made you believe that it wasn't that big a deal, gave you the impression that it was kind of a lighthearted thing or that it was just like, wow, really fun. And you're just like, oh, no, thank you. Uh, but they were counting on this. This has something to do with their stability. This has something to do with their um, future. Not you, though. Not you. I don't think that this is impacting you at all. I, I, I feel like you're you're like turning your back on this situation and you're going in the direction you want to go in. Um, the truth is, I feel like this person wanted you to do some hard work for them that they don't want to do for themselves whatever that means. Now this nine of swords. So you said no. Empress, seven of cups, three of swords, 10 of wands. I feel like what you're doing here is you're healing some codependent cycle. Okay. Or pattern that you have in your life. And this person just happened to be the cudgel, the conduit for learning this lesson for you. It's not really about this person at all. You're being given a karmic, um, I mean, you know, we, we learn these all the time, but even more than normal, this person stepped into your life as a sole contract to have you say no to a pattern 
that's been blowing you apart for lifetime after lifetime after lifetime. You finally get to the place where you're just like, yeah, no. That's why that person blows up. Because I feel like they, in this life, I feel like they didn't see this coming. And I don't think you saw the tower coming. I don't, I don't think you see or you saw or you're going to see how important this was to this person. And that may make you feel pretty guilty here. I don't think you saw it coming. I think that um, you might feel badly about this. But you're learning to not be codependent. Do you get me? You're learning to not do things for other people that they can do for themselves. This person wants you to do something for them that they should be doing for themselves and they're not doing it. I don't know why. Well, let's ask. Why is this person not doing it for themselves? Seven of Wands, resisting, resisting, holding themselves back, chariot, energy, and death. I don't think they feel like they have the capability. I think you saying no is the end of the, they think that's the end of the road for them. But actually you are involved in a soul contract with them to say no to them so that they'll have to do some stuff for themselves. They have been doing this all their life, trying to get other people to do things for them. Not in a, I don't feel like this person's a bad person at all. I just feel like they don't believe they have the capability. And I feel like you are showcasing that you have the capability. That's why this person was drawn to you. <clears throat> Capricorn, water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I see Libra here. I see Taurus. Okay. So um, the thing is that uh, Sagittarius here, lots of Sag. So there's your opposite sign. Remember, I, I referenced that in the beginning of the reading. So what you're doing essentially is your opposite sign is being invoked here, which is about adventure, which is about taking risks, which is about being a little naive, which is about being super optimistic. And it's too bad. I feel like this person really kind of breaks your heart because you did, you thought this person was on the up and up, but they were not on the up and up. Okay. They were not. And the thing that's coming through here loud and clear is that that's really going to be kind of a sad thing that you're going to be like, wow, that's a bummer. I, I thought, I thought, you know, you were really interested in working with me or whatever. And it turns out you just had a big crush on me and you don't care, or you acted like you had a big crush on me and really you just wanted to be a business partner and take money from me. Like either way, Either way, you're moving on, okay? You're moving on, I like this. The Six of Cups is this new person, this new opportunity. Strength, King of Swords, Eight of Wands, Three of Cups. Oh yeah, this is happening soon. This is happening soon. I feel like the um, Venus is going direct. I feel like this is a Pisces new moon, or sorry, Pisces full moon thing that we are ejecting people from our lives that aren't in alignment, right? They're not, it's not for you. That aren't in alignment with true essence, our true essence. This is not about flashy. This is not about what I think you are. I feel like that's what's going on here is that you're getting a real lesson in all that glitters is not gold. You're getting a real lesson in that. I also want to say that there's a reward here for this lesson. And the reward is about you learning to be more powerful. Uh, when you're talking to people, I think you're going to be very straightforward. I think you're not going to mince any words. I just feel like in the past you might have been very um, people pleasing. I'm getting, I'm getting a lot of people pleasing energy around this. And it's kind of like with the Ten of Wands here. It, it's sort of like um, that's, the, that's the cycle you're breaking. No more people pleasing. No more doing things because other people want me to. No more kind of believing other people's nonsense until we get so far down the road that when I say no to them, it blows up their life. Having some fifth chakra issues here. Yeah. Okay. 
So I feel like you're walking into something much better. I feel like you're, I feel like the universe is bringing this in. I wouldn't feel too badly about this, but that person is getting blown away out of your life. I feel in the next 10 weeks, it's going to, something big is going to be happening um, in the very beginning weekend of September, which is Labor Day in the United States. That's a holiday. And I feel like you're going to get a chance to say something very sharply. So I would be careful about that. I like this idea of being a little more um, feeling based because people, I think when Venus is retrograde, I feel like people are very emotional and we're talking about a Pisces full moon. So I feel like there's a lot of emotion, emotions here, but it's, it's a little bit, um, what's the word? Refreshing that you are finally saying things straight up. You're not going to take this people pleasing stance. You're not going to just try to like make everybody balance, make everybody get along. You're just not there anymore. And I feel like it's a, it's a little hard entry. It's a little difficult to when you spent your whole life being someone who tries to, you know, make everybody happy, which is a really unhealthy pattern because it's manipulative and shift into something that's much more authentic, more real, way more real. And the reason that that's happening is because you finally hit upon this soul contract that you didn't really see coming. Okay, so we're gonna go deeper. I wanna see where we're going here. This, this is a new day. This is a new way of experiencing life, a complete and utter change, but you did not see that soul contract coming, okay? All right, Gemini, link is in the description box below if you want to continue on with me. I'll see you over there. All right, I hope you enjoyed that video. If it was helpful to you, please consider liking this video and sharing it with anybody who might have a need for similar kind of information. And if you like this video, check out these videos.